Welcome to CSCMA. We are going to study about distributed component object model, also abbreviated as DCOM. And we well familiar about that in component based system. Components are intact with each other by calling method and passing data. And these calling methods and passing data operations are performed by using the technology component object model and distributed component object model means com and decom and decom is uh, a model same as component object model but is it is especially designed for distributed applications we well familiar about the component object model that uh, facilitate information interprocess communication and uh, dynamic object creation in any programming languages that uses these technologies and decom is a microsoft a set of microsoft concepts and program interfaces among software components this that distributed across network computers and the distributed component object model by the originally called network OLE. OLE stands for object linking and embedding system and we know that the in decom model the objects are distributed across network and these objects must be linked and embedded in the system by using the network technologies and that's why it was originally called network OLE means OLE, OLE provides a linking and em embedding to these objects and uh, DCOM can also work on a network within an enterprise or an organization or other networks and it uses the transmission control protocol and internet control protocols and hypertext transfer protocols to facilitate the communication between the components that are distributed across the network and uh, DCOM is the competitor to the CORBA that developed by the management information group and uh, that's why it is uh, generally equivalent to the CORBA and when distributed component object model was developed it was uh, comes as a part of the Microsoft operating system but soon it will be available on all the major Unix platform and the other operating systems. Thank you. Thanks for watching.